So in the last two videos in this little mini-series, if you want to call it that, uh, Basic Cisco Networking 101, I showed you how to configure network address translation on a Cisco iOS router, as well as configuring that router as a DHCP server. In this third and final video, I'm going to show you how to configure that router as a zone-based firewall, which will kind of wrap everything up and complete the whole picture. So first, we're going to take a look at the topology, and then I'm going to fire up the equipment and show you how to get it configured. Over on the very right hand side, we have the uh, topology. Uh, don't worry about any of this stuff over here. Uh, these were all for, uh, uh, this is for a previous project and uh, this one over here uh, is for a, uh, a current project. And uh, I didn't want to clear my workspace off uh, just for this uh, the video right here. So uh, what we have here, what we're focused on in this video is this very, very basic topology right here where we have the internet terminating into the router and the router is uh, connected to a uh, layer, uh, layer two switch. So we're going to configure zone based firewall on this router. And again, like I said in the introduction, the last two videos, uh, if, if you miss them, uh, if, you, if you want to learn how to configure network address translation and a DHCP server on the router as well, uh, you might wanna go back and watch those. So, uh, so far we have uh, NAT configured. So this would be our NAT outside that inside and a DHCP server running on here to hand out uh, IP addresses to the hosts on the network, their default gateway, DNS server, uh, etc. Um, so today we're going to be configuring uh, two zones on this firewall. So we'll have a WAN and LAN. Now this can get uh, this can get uh, out of control quickly. Uh, where you end up with uh, multiple different zones and it can get kind of complex where maybe you have a, a DMZ hanging off here and then uh, maybe a secondary DMZ or something like that. But today we're just going to focus on a very simple design where we have WAN and LAN and I'll show you how to get that configured. So let's go ahead and fire up the equipment and get zone base firewall configured. Okay, so here's the router we're going to be using, uh, just one of the uh, Cisco 1841s, and we have the internet, so the internet coming in here into uh, fast ethernet uh, 0 slash 1, and then uh, fast ethernet uh, 0 slash 0 as our uh, LAN interface. Okay, so here we are sitting on the router, and the first thing I like to do is define my security zones. So you will start with zone. Zone security, and then we'll go zone security WAN. Zone security LAN. Okay, now the next step is to classify the traffic. So uh, you can do this a few different ways. You could create an access, uh, an access control list and plug it into your class map, or you can uh, just uh, simply create a uh, class map defining your protocols. Uh, what I like to do is I like to go uh, the, the route where you create an access list uh, defining um, certain things and then um, also make a class map uh, where you define your protocols and then combine the access list and that uh, other class map into a new class map. Uh, we're just going to keep it really simple and we're just going to do uh, class map type inspect and actually we want to go match any since i believe it's match all by default so that would that would mess this up uh, in this example so class map type inspect match any and we're going to name it lan to wan and then here's where if you had an access list you wanted to match you could go match access group name and then the name of your access list but like i said in here we're just going to keep it simple and match some protocols so we'll go uh match uh http Oop. we're gonna go match protocol and 
HTTPS. And then at the end, we'll uh, do uh, TCP and UDP. So when it looks at this uh, class map, when it matches the protocols, it's going to start from the top down. So if you were to put uh, TCP and UDP on the top, uh, you would never get that granular inspection uh, for everything else that you, uh, you put in here, like uh, HTTPS, uh, FTP, and that sort of thing. All right, so that's it. So we've matched the protocols that we want to uh, have inspected. So we'll do a, a do show run class map. Just kind of look at that. So here we go. Uh, again, class map, type inspect, match any, and then we did LAN to WAN, and then we matched HTTP, HTTPS, FTP, SMTP, ICMP, and then TCP and UDP. So now we have these uh, protocols uh, um, thrown into this class map. So now we need to create a policy map to say this is what we want done with these, which is going to be inspect. So that way that return traffic will be allowed back in uh, from the internet. So we'll start the same way we did with the class map, except it's policy map. Man, I can't type worth a crap today. <laughs> a policy map, uh, type inspect, and then LAN to WAN. And here's where we plug in the uh, class map up here. So we just do class, type, inspect, and then LAN to WAN. And here's where we define what we want to do with that. So we're going to go inspect. Okay. And that's it. Again, I'll do a do show run policy map. And there it is. Policy map, type inspect, land to WAN. Class type inspect, land to WAN. So that's where we plug in that. Uh, class map. Now, sometimes what I'll do is I'll put uh, on a policy map, I'll put a dash uh, P map on a class map, a dash C map. It's really up to you, your your uh, naming convention. Uh, this is just an example. So again, like I said, I'm just trying to keep it as basic as I can. So uh, class map type inspect land to WAN and then inspect. So now we have our class map. We have our policy map. We have our zones. Now all that's left is creating our zone pairs and plugging in that policy map. So we go zone pair security and then whatever you want to call it. So in this case, it would make the most sense to go LAN to WAN. And then the source, so the source is going to be LAN. Now remember, this this will match up to the, uh, the security zones that you named. So if you didn't name your LAN LAN, you would want to put what whatever you named uh, that right here. So in this case, we named it LAN, so the source is LAN. And then the destination, WAN. And here's where we plug in that class, or that uh, policy map we created up here. We go service policy, type inspect, and then the name of the policy map, which is LAN to WAN. Okay. And then the final step is to define the security zones. So like I said, on the uh, topology diagram we looked at, our uh, internet is on fast ethernet zero slash one. So we just go zone member security, WAN. And then on the LAN side, which is fast ethernet zero slash zero, zone member security, LAN. And there you go. That is as simple as it gets. So in a very basic network, that's really all you need to do. I mean, actually, in a really basic network, you could use uh, CBAC. Uh, I didn't choose to cover uh, CBAC or context-based access control, I believe. Uh, I don't really like CBAC, but I deal with a lot of, th I, I deal with scenarios where there are a bunch of different security zones that require different policies and whatnot. And CBAC is more of a, a per interface uh, type of thing. And uh, I believe that it has been uh, superseded by the zone-based firewall anyways. So um, 
let's see, what was I going to say? Um, yeah, you could even you could even make it super simple and just match TCP and UDP as well in your class map. I mean, if you just wanted a very, very, the most basic firewall possible, um, you could do that. Uh, I match individual protocols because I really want that layer 7 inspection. Um, you know, at the application layer, uh, certain certain protocols like uh, FTP, for example, you're you're not going to get. Um, you could have some issues if you don't match it specifically, and I'm not going to get into all the ins and outs of that right now. Uh, it's not what this video is about, but just saying, for a very basic firewall, you could probably get away with just matching TCP and UDP, and that's all. Thank you for watching this video. Like I said, this wraps up the uh, this little mini uh, mini series at uh, Basic Cisco Networking 101 uh, for just a very very basic network with Cisco equipment. So if you did like the video, uh, please hit the thumbs uh, uh, the thumbs up button. Uh, if you dislike the video, you can hit the thumbs down. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out, and I'd be more than happy to help out uh, as much as I'm able to. So you can leave a comment in the comment section, or you can email me at rob at rmtechcentral.com. And uh, that's pretty much it. Oh, and if you're not subscribed, uh, please subscribe to my channel. So, till next time, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.